Tammy Teacher here, reading Week Four Food for Thought Sample Essay Two. Men might be more suitable as leaders, while women can be strong leaders. I believe that men might still be more suitable for leadership roles, especially in certain situations. Leadership often requires quick decision making, managing large groups, and maintaining control under pressure. Skills where men have historically excelled, particularly in times of war. For example, Winston Churchill, the British Prime Minister during World War II, displayed exceptional leadership in a time of global conflict. His ability to make tough decisions and inspire confidence in his troops was crucial to the Allied victory. Soldiers often respond better to male leaders, especially in combat situations. Where strength, decisiveness, and authority are highly valued. Another example is Dwight D. Eisenhower, who led the D-Day invasion as supreme commander during World War II. His ability to command respect and maintain order among troops was vital to the mission's success. In war, where the stakes are life and death, male leadership often proves more effective due to how soldiers respond to male authority. Even today, with ongoing conflicts like the Russia-Ukraine war, strong male leadership in military settings continues to be highly valued. As General George S. Patton said, "Lead me, follow me, or get out of my way." This quote reflects the decisive nature needed in leadership, especially in military contexts. While women have shown great leadership qualities. The examples of Churchill and Eisenhower suggest that men might still be better equipped to handle the pressures of leadership, especially in times of war, when effective command and control are critical.